So you know me, I like to make things move. So today we're going to be working on a carousel with cutouts or images that have background removed. So let's head over to Canva and create one. So the first thing I did to prep for my carousel because I'm using cutouts is I got an Instagram post and I did all of my stickers inside of one post, one page per sticker. Why? Because I, when I do the frame, I want the frame to kind of be these to fit, fit normal instead of, you know, this one was this size and because they're all going to be oddball shapes because you're doing cutouts versus a photo, like you're doing all mobile photos, they're all going to be the same size. You're going to do all portrait photos, they'd be all the same size. But when you're doing like a product or something like a sticker, it's not going to be. And then what I did is I downloaded them. I'm using my pro account for this. If you got um, free, it's going to take you a little bit more time because you're going to have to go and remove the background for all of these. But I just file, download, PNG. If you got the pro transparent background, download it, went, unzipped the file, and then loaded them back into Canva. So that was my stickers all prepped and ready to go with no background. So now I want to come over to this, my blank canvas in a video format. And what I want to do now is set up my carousel. So you can pick your background color first if you want to. Let's see, we're just going to pick something Canva already has. We'll do that. And I don't want it in that orientation. So I'm going to change it here. And I kind of want the pink at the top. So we'll use that color for this. Click that out. And then what I want to do is head over to elements. I'm going to go into frames and I'm going to grab me a square frame. Now what I want to do is make that into a vertical rectangle for the moment to start off with. And I'll show you some little tricks afterwards to help out. But we just want to get the carousel lined up. So you got your middle carousel. I'm going to duplicate that. And what I'm going to do is take it to the side and reduce the size down a little. And then I'm going to center it back up. I think I want it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to center it back up. I'm going to duplicate that one. And I'm going to bring it to the other side and match that up. Then I'm going to duplicate again. And then I'm going to line it up. And I'm going to reduce it down even further. And then line it up here. And once it's lined up, I'm going to take duplicate that smaller one and put it over here. So now I got those where I want to. I need spaces because I'm going to put some behind it. So what I want to do, and remember, when you're doing cutouts, it's going to automatically give you some space here. So you might not need to do that. But if you do, because your cutouts are going to be big, all you got to do is go like this, spread it out a little bit more, highlight them, go over. Oops, not here. Go into position, go on arrange, and hit. Where's it at? Tidy up. There you go. And that'll give you that space there. So you want to take your very smallest, the smallest box you have. We're going to duplicate that one too. And then we're going to make it smaller. And what we're going to do is put it like in between these two here. I'm going to duplicate it. Put it in between here. Make sure that one's on the line. Grab this one, duplicate it, put it in between these two. Duplicate it and put it in be these between these two. And then I'm going to go over into my layers. I know my first four right here are going to be these ones sitting on top. So I'm going to hold my shift key down, hit the first four. And then I'm going to go over here because it's easier that way and go layers, send it back. So now I have my carousel set up. What I want to do after that is any kind of text or anything that you want to use, you can go ahead and put that in there. Um, the other thing I would do, start doing first would go and grab. So I'm going to go into my uploads. And what I want to do is grab like the widest and tallest one I have. So I'm going to grab him and see how I need to have these wider. So what I'm going to do is go across here. And I'm going to start manipulating these so my that'll fit. So once he fits in there like that, and I know because he's the tallest and he's the widest out of my stickers, what I can do now is I'm going to reduce this down and that will set my carousel. So if you got it like where you need to move it up, you can go here. You can go this way. You can squeeze them in. If it's you, 
you've got plenty of room. If you need more room, spread it out. So that way you can start manipulate, manipulating all of your frames all at one time and get them the size you need to hold your stickers. So now that I got my frames the size that I need to hold my stickers, I'm going to detach him for the moment. And we're going to go, bye-bye, Sam. Toodles. So the other thing that I want to do is because I want it to kind of look like it's spinning around really well is and give that illusion that it's going around on in a circle is I am going to go into my shapes. I am going to grab a circle. And if you know me, I'm going to make everything silver. If you've been around me long enough, it's going to be silver. So I'm going to grab a circle. I'm going to hit the gray and white gradient. And then I'm going to take two of these and turn them to black. So I'm going to duplicate that one. And then I'm going to stick the gray and the white in the center. And then I'm going to change the orientation to this way. And then what I want to do now is I am going to spread this out like so. And then I am going to go and stick it to the back because I want to see where it's showing up with my frames. So there I have it with my frames. I kind of want to bring it in a little bit. So these are kind of hitting the edge when they spin around. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and duplicate it and then go up to shape turn it into a square and then oh, what I want to do is change the color of that square. All I'm going to do is go back into the color and change the orientation of the gradient to make my tabletop, my table part. So then I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go in a position and I'm just going to take that all the way down to the bottom and there's my tabletop. And then you can put any kind of text you want here, uh, text you want up here. So we'll just add a heading. Add a heading. And then if you want a little something down here, add a heading. Add a heading. So what I would recommend doing with this kind of stuff here, because you're going to be kind of moving stuff around, especially the one down here, is just to go ahead. Once If you get any text or elements or anything down here that you want to, you're going to be working with, just go ahead, go in here and lock it. Because that way when you're moving stuff around, like I could probably take this and probably lock that too. We'll go and lock that too. Because you're never move, you're not moving this anymore. And when you go start to grab stuff, it, it won't pick it up and you won't have any worry about it. So I know I need nine, nine stickers. So I'm going to go back up to my uploads and I'm going to grab nine stickers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, there's the rest of my stickers, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to position. I am going to, my first one's already highlighted. I'm going to scroll down to my last six sticker. I am going to hit the shift key and highlight them all. And then I'm going to go into arrange and I'm going to go center and middle. And then what I'm going to do is just drag them down in the corner. So when you put them up, put them up in the order that you want to go around in the carousel and just kind of stick them down here. Make sure they don't go off the page though, because you'll lose some. If you want to, you can make them smaller. That way you can kind of like keep them in the corner and make it a little bit easier for you. So once I got those in place, what I want to do next is I want to highlight my first page. I'm going to move this out the way for us and I'm going to highlight my first page. I'm going to hit hold my control key and hit a then after what I want to do is I need nine pages all together because I have nine stickers. So I'm going to hold down my control key now and hit D eight times. So to get nine pages. So I'm going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if I go and check, this is page one, this is page nine. So now I have all of these in place. So what I can do now 
is go back to page one and start putting my stickers in. I have them in order, so it should be easier, easy for me to drop them real fast and real easy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and go around. So I'm going to go here, 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 here. Here and here. Now I'm going to go to the next page and I'm going to start one over. So I'm going to take him and go over to the next position. So we started here, we're going here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in order and go around. Go around with the same things, just like so. And then when I'm completed that page, I'm going to go to the next page and start over in the next position. So I'm going to start with him. I'm going to go in the next position and I'm going to go to in the same direction each time to go like so. Put her there. Put him there. Put that there. We're going in the behind ones. And then she's going to come around the side. And my girl Nenny's going right there. And then we're going to the next one. So we started in the middle, so we're going to go here, oh, and we're going to drag, and we're just going to start our loop again, and we're going to just keep doing that for each page till we get all of them all the way around. And if you notice some of the stickers don't look like they're lined up center, it's because the stickers aren't all the same size. So you're not going to be able to have them kind of centered each time because some are wider, some are skinnier. So it's going to be a little bit off. But when they're moving, you'll be able to see them. So there's no real issue with that. So we're going to go to the next one. And oh, he started here. So we need to go down to this end position here with him. And if you forget where your position is, always just go to back to the previous page and then you just go there. So she's going over on the back side now with these. We're going to the back side here, here. Come back around the front. Sam and my girl Nanny. All right. So now we're going to start on the back side because we finished going across with him. So we're going to need to start on the back side. So I'm going to grab him and go in the back here. Grab her, go here, grab this one, go in the back side, grab her, back side, him in the front, 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 and always in with my girl Nanny. And then we'll go to the next page, and we know he started here last time, so we know he needs to go into the second position here, and then we'll just start our rotation again. Around, 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 and go. And then again, so as we see, he was here. We're going to go to this one. So we're going to start right here. I'm going to pull him to here. She's going here. She is going here, 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 here. And go to old nanny, get in there, baby girl. And the last one, he's going to start right here. Which, when you started, you started him here, so that's right. So he'll be coming. So if he's not here when you do the last page, you mucked up somewhere. So you might have to go look. But he should be here, and this should be your first one. So if we look at the first one, there he is. So we're on the last one. So now we're going to do the loop around. You gotta go her, 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 him, her, Sammy Poots, and then a girl. So now I have my car carousel complete. What I want to do next is go in between. You can do it in between any pages. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to go and to the little arrow buttons in between, which is my transition. I'm going to go over to match and move. 
I'm going to turn it all the way up as far as I can. And then I'm going to apply it between all pages. And then I want to see what my timing looks like. So these are 2.5. I like 2.5 and it's got 3.7 and 3.7 at the beginning and end. I don't want those. So I'm just going to go click on the one that says 2.5 and I'm going to all pages. And then I'm going to confirm that they're all pages, that they're all 2.8, which they're not. I mean 2.5. I got two that's 2.8. Now they're all, I got one 2.6, but we'll leave that. That's fine. And now we're going to watch. We want you to go away, Mr. Timon. We're going to watch our carousel. So we're going to watch our carousel spin. And if you think it's going too slow for you, you can always go in your match and move and turn the seconds up, turn the seconds down, so it'll make it go faster. And just apply between all pages. That's going to be uh, up to you. And then I would go back and change my timing again. Just that three. But as you can see, if you want it to spin faster, just you can adjust your duration to make it go faster, go slower. It's all up to you and how long you want to do with that. And there is your carousel spinning around. Honestly, I think I should have uh, taken my top here and thinned that out a little bit. Personal preference, If I'll just show you on the first, the first slide. So if I take this... I should have probably moved it up a little, made it a little bit thinner. That's what I'm talking about with my tabletop there. But that's how you do that. I'm not going to get in the weeds about that because who knows? You might not even use that. Y'all might, you might use something totally different than that. That's just me with my little uh, weirdo mind going. And that's how you do that. I'm happy you stopped by. I hope you make things spin. And I hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.